Hey, welcome back. You know, once known as the textile capital of the world, that would be Greenville, okay? And we're trying to tribute the legacy of our area's textile plants, some 13 mills in the immediate area of where we're standing. Textile Heritage Day will be held Saturday, August 24th at the site of a future textile heritage park. Don Harkins is with us. Don, along with Marshall, you brought Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Thank brought you, Marshall. gentlemen. <laughs> now, so there's a, a textile heritage society. There is. We, we're about 13 years old, and we have 13 mill villages that makes up the, our group. And yeah. We meet uh, several times a year with big uh, events, and each group has their own reunions. And uh, so it's a family. This, it was a family. Right. This is a big, plants. our big event for the, the 13th year in a row, our Textile Heritage Festival, and we invite all of us local folks to come out, people that may be new to the area, they mm -hmm. want to find out more about the uh, Greenville's history. Was, it, was king. It, it was. It, are we kind of an anomaly because we had so mm -hmm. many that were right there so close they were. together? Some within just a few miles of each other, well, it, it, even less than that. Isn't the planned park at one of the former mill sites? Yeah. It is. It's the, the old, uh, old Monaghan Mill parking lot. Really? But before we had automobiles, it was a park back in the early 1900s. It was called Central Park. Right. Uh -huh. And so we're returning it back to its original use. And, uh, we're Is Monaghan one of the ones where Shoeless Joe played? Did he, he was play? close okay. by. I'm not sure if he ever played for okay. Monaghan or not, but he played one. for several different... Well, yeah. he played yeah. in the Textile Leagues. That, that wouldn't have been a Joe Jackson had we not had mills for him to work at. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And uh, tell us about the event. What's going to be going on? I know it's free admission. Well, it's free admission, uh, Jack, and we have exhibits there from all the mills that will be there. We have an entertainment. We have a textile heritage band that will be playing in concert. We have a textile heritage chorale that will be singing. Then there's a group called Heart Sound, which is uh, four gentlemen who will be singing. So it, it's, it's there for people to come. It's kind of a re reunion atmosphere. Right. People come and enjoy. There'll be food for, but uh, there'll be food vendors there, as well as displays. And it's just a time to get together and kind of reflect on the time that we had together as textile people. Sure. Because what were some of the things that, you know, were made in these mills and, and were done? Well, what we're all wearing was made in these mills. Uh-huh. Exactly. All the clothes, all the cotton. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. A lot of military contracts, especially World War II, Korean War, and in Vietnam, and even still now going to the Middle East, are still, some of the materials are still made here, uh, or were made here, and some are still made here, depending on which government contract they get, you know, yeah. so. And, and still mills are around. Yes, sir. I, I have friends in Gaffney. Their mill makes uh, pockets for pants. Mm -hmm. Right. They have to be made. Well, the, we on TV, there's an advertisement for these awnings that go in and out. The material is actually coated and made at Dunne Plant yeah. here in Greenville every day. Right. That is so, and who would have mm -hmm. thought, you know, back in the day you had these big mills and then when it kind of moved away and then now they're, you know, restoring them and putting these, you know, right. apart. They, I mean, it's like the trendy thing. Yeah. Well, it's good yeah, they're the making Mill where I grew world. up is uh, law, the loss the of Greenville now. Okay. Right. Right. Just right across the street. So Greenville. both yeah. you guys worked uh, as younger men in yes. mills? I, I did for a couple of summers going to college, but yeah. both my parents worked at Monaghan Mill and retired yeah. there all their lives. I mean, right. My dad had 54 years and my mom had 51 years at Dunning. Wow. So we grew up in that atmosphere. And it's such a tight knit, it you was. know, yes, group. I mean, because you, you, you lived and you worked all right there. <laughs> I mean, that was your community. You took right. care of each other. A lot of great baseball players came out from some of these mills. Yeah. What, what did you bring us? You brought us some pictures, I know, and we, we brought a pocketbook for Megan, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's uh, I like that. a tool. <laughs> Uh, carry on. portable tool box mm -hmm. for the weave room for the weave room and uh, wow. we've got a couple of pictures here from Judy Aiken Young who will be with us next Saturday mm -hmm. she's an artist and does wonderful pictures of the old mill villages and right. uh, and uh, she'll be with us she also does cutouts for uh, uh, of the different churches and yeah. different buildings we've got one of the textile hall old textile hall that a cut out and i remember that place yeah <laughs> exactly. yeah that was a big deal too i want to call that a baseball bat but i'm sure it's not well we it's use what? it as a it's child a or stick. it's a picker stick yeah off of a loom yeah. and we use that as a bat before we were able to purchase bats yeah and we made our own balls with string and You're tape wow resourceful now where exactly is this taking place the it's festival the, Across from the loss on Smy Street Smy. at Monaghan, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, to start at 10 o'clock uh, next Saturday, okay. 10 to 2. And we'll, one exciting thing we'll do that's going on is we're going to dedicate our mill walk, which is mm -hmm. a, a trail with uh, all of the mill villages represented with the history. We've got markers that shows the history of each mill. Be nice. oh, very cool. So it's a mill walk. Uh, 
If you're familiar with Swamp Rabbit, Swamp Rabbit Cafe, that's kind of right near where Spike is. is. It is, is. It's it's right. It is free. Thank it you is guys. Saturday, right? right. Okay. It is free. Thirteenth annual. I got Everyone it. come out. We're it's open to the public. Very so. cool. Thank Thanks, you all for Kim. telling us about yes, it and kind of like helping us relive some of this history. Coming up next, it is Work It Wednesday. We're going to be talking about reality versus expectations when it comes to salons. That's next.